How's it going everyone? Dean Park Tracker here with yet another update on Wonder Woman Flight of Courage at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Big news just dropped from the park and it's that the ride will officially open on July 16th, a little over two weeks away with so much work to do. Let's get right into it and see what they've done, what they still have to do, and what they'll put off until later. On the lift hill you can see here they're adding netting to the left side of the chain lift or the side without the stairs. They have the wire heading up to the top and are placing the black netting section by section. Walls are still up around the exit path to Riddler's Revenge as they haven't quite finished the planter and fence here along the coaster. As mentioned in previous updates, this area will be fully accessible just to where the exit bridge to Tidal Wave used to be. Through the fence we got a look at them power washing the coaster for eventual touch-ups that will occur to the damaged paint throughout the ride. There were crews throughout the whole coaster and site today, meaning they are really cracking down on getting this thing open on time with the new deadline placed. Over in front of Justice League, they have completed the landscaping portion underneath this part of the coaster. They opted to use these orange colored rocks around the footers. There is no sign of any desert landscaping going in here, and they might just keep it as bare as you see here. They also went ahead and adjusted the floodlights that will illuminate the coaster at night. Here are some photos of those lights turned on, and how it will look at night. Looks strange how just the portion in front of Justice League is lit up, and hopefully they accounted for lighting up the other parts of the coaster, especially the supports on the lift hill, or else it will be a completely dark area. It looks good so far from these photos, and we'll have to wait and see for what else they have in store for light packages. As mentioned earlier, with the power washing, the dark red spots around the coaster still need to be repainted. This is from damage that occurred during assembly of the coaster and transport from the manufacturing facility to the park. They also have all the welds to go over on the yellow track that are marked in gray primer. Lots of work to do still in just over two weeks before the ride officially opens. On to the rest of the land, they had so many construction workers on site trying to get the land ready for the opening on July 16th. In this shot, crews were flattening the concrete right in front of Batman the Ride. The Batman ride sign is still missing, and we have yet to see if they'll replace it with another bat symbol or an actual sign that says Batman. Off to the right, the big new DC Universe arch has arrived on site, with the crane that will eventually lift it into place. This will somewhat resemble the old arch with the comic book style characters on the side. This is expected to go right around the same spot as the old arch. Also, the Teen Titan spinner is back in place with a new paint job that matches the entrance to the ride. On the other side of the land, we can see the universe letters on the arch that's laying on the ground. Then we have a new gold trim that wraps around the station building for Wonder Woman, and some new marble paintwork that resembles the theme for the Justice League building facade. Not sure how I feel about the gold trim though as it sort of looks out of place. Was under the impression that the whole building was going to be the same color, just like the rendering showed. Perhaps they have something more planned and it's another one of those we'll have to wait and see moments. The Ferris aircraft arch also received some marble work that matches the station. Work is progressing at a steady pace, but it still looks like they have so much more to do before the opening in a little over two weeks. I imagine most of the stuff they had planned for the land will be pushed back and finished at a later date while the ride is open. Things such as landscaping, theming, the new restrooms, and possible quick service dining location. Well, that's all for this quick update on the project testing is well underway and we are close to the official opening. No word yet on pass holder previews, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more updates on the park. Thanks again and see you on the next update.